have gathered at the University of Jiu-Jitsu to compete in the BJJ Library Challenge. Each contestant will fight each other to win a cash prize and for a chance to test themselves with a match against Shanji Hibero, a eight-time black belt world champion and two-time ADCC champion. Who will become the BJJ Library Champion? Guys, welcome to the BJJ Library Challenge. It's a pleasure to have all you guys here. And this week, you guys are gonna be exposed physically, mentally, and technically. We will find your weakness and we're gonna try to work to see if you guys have what it takes to become a true champ. We're gonna do activities that you guys are gonna have to have mental toughness and you guys gotta make wise decisions. And the winner is the one that will have all the aspects of the game. Stand up, guard, top position, finish. The rules is pretty simple. Fight forward and look for the finish. You guys are gonna fight each other and the winner will have the opportunity to test your skills against a true legend and a true champ, my brother, Alexandre Rivera. Okay guys, first of all, welcome to the BJ Library Challenge. For me, it's a pleasure to have all you guys here to accept this challenge. I've been doing Jiu-Jitsu for over 20 years. I've been competing as a black belt for over 15 years. And I think it is an amazing opportunity for myself to test my skills against you guys. By accepting the challenge, I already consider you guys champion. Now I just want to see who you guys want to be the best one that can face me in the end. I wish the best of luck for you all and the best man in the world. My name is Brian Mingi, uh, black belt under Hoyce Gracie I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. My academy is TFTC Academy in Cary. We just opened up. For the past nine or so years, I've been with the military strictly. I just now opened it up to the civilian side. We have adult classes strictly based on the self-defense first. To me, it's never been a sport. I use them on law enforcement. I teach the military now. It's a necessity. It's not a sport for me. It kept me alive. My name is Vitor Moscon Schwarzer. I'm from Brazil. Moved to the United States at the time I have 19 years old. I started Jiu Jitsu at 16 years old in Brazil to lose some weight. And here I am now. I'm like, that's my lifestyle right now. I train every day and I teach a lot of the American top team weddings in Florida. When I see the invite for the BJJ Library Challenge, I'm really excited for this because two legends are going to be holding. They're like Saul and Sean. And a big opportunity for me to show my Jiu Jitsu skill and my everything for the world. My name is Dennis Holman. I've been doing grappling MMA since 1996. I started off wrestling, I was a high school state wrestling champion. I dabbled in grappling, I uh, competed at Abu Dhabi, I fought for the UFC world title, beat some world champions. I'm hoping to get a wealth of experience out of the BJJ Challenge. I'm trying to get better with the gi. This is probably the best way in the world that I could get my skills up there. My name is Victor Barreto, I'm from Brazil. I'm 33 years old. I started training Jiu Jitsu when I was 16 years old. I came to live in here in America for training. Jiu Jitsu is my life, I love that. And, uh, my expectation is I'm be champion. I'm here for that and I'll do that. My name is Luke, I'm 25 from the United Kingdom. I'm here representing Braille Estima and Gracie Barra Birmingham. I've been training for about 10 years. Uh, my dad was a high-level judo player, national champion, and he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so he got me into grappling. I've won a lot of brown belt, European championships, and a few world medals, but nothing at black belt, so it's nice for me to challenge myself at the highest level. As long as I do the best I can, that's all right for me. My name is AJ Sousa. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Right now I have a gym in Fort Lauderdale, AJ Sousa BJJ. Originally I was training with Pablo Popovich. He moved to Abu Dhabi, so now I've been training with Jonatis Gurgel Tagarella. I really have no idea what's going on. I know I'm going to get to fight people. <laughs> I know I'm going to get to do jiu-jitsu. That's what I love to do, so I heard there was a place that we could show our jiu-jitsu to the world, and I'm here to do it. In our season, if you don't know how to fight standing, you're already behind. We don't butt scoop, we don't take not for granted, and if they fight back up standing, we can handle ourselves. The way that we train stand up is in a game called the king of the mountain. We're gonna have one in the middle, and if this guy take 
all you guys down is the king. So I invite the champion, Shanji, to start the king of the map. Good luck to all. No matter how many times we go down, we gotta always come back, as fast as you can. That will define if we have the mind of a champion. The champion is not the one that always winning. The champion sometimes has to lose to feel human, but he will come back. And for today, I consider all you guys champions. Everybody's pretty tired, so this is more like a flow. That is a uh, water, half of this pipe. We call this drill be like water. You're gonna have three minutes to carry this pipe over your head and get in a squat position and you're gonna count five. If the pipe touch the ground, you out. It's your round. You don't even feel the pipe. You just say, oh, I got the pipe, I bring it here. What about the water going the other way? How are you gonna stop that? I love the confidence, but confidence without knowledge gets you killed. We need both. Next. Listen, you got three minutes. You don't need to do in 10 seconds. Feel the pipe, where the water is going, because it's gonna be a battle. And it's to develop body awareness, you should develop your sensitivity, a 
about what you hear, how you feel, how you move, and how your body adapt. Because Jiu-Jitsu teaches us how to adapt. Two, three, four, five, right? Three. Never had the one supposed to be in the middle. Nobody said that. <laughs> you gotta know the rules to exactly know how to break it. <laughs> Genius, that idea. Love it. Dennis had that from the get go. He was, every single time it was his turn, he was like, no, no, I'm gonna go last. <laughs> We had our different strategies, so I thought if I put it on my knees and get it behind my head, I could kind of squat it up. The pipe wasn't heavy at all, but when the water would swish from side to side, it almost became like impossible to hold. Oh, the water pipe I'm using on the stand, I think I have to make the five squat. I didn't know I have to walk the thing. I almost did. Yeah, so hard, man. So hard for me, I couldn't do it, you know? Just trying so long. For me, it's the worst challenge. I found that when I closed my eyes, I could picture the water a lot better. When you open your eyes, there's too many distractions. It was very much just a balance and control thing. I think as well, having long limbs helped me because I could wrap my arms far around the pipe. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. How do you open it up? By the door, funnily enough. Like this. No. Oh. Through the port. You're so smart, man. I am. Mean, I'm only I'm not so smart. Alright, here we go. Oh, I find it so 
win the other round we go to suddenly that suddenly that we get an extra round of two minutes take it down only Paul is gonna explain you guys in details about what count points first of all thank you guys for coming you know it takes a lot to come and without even knowing what kind of rule we're gonna get into it but basically it's gonna be this we're gonna give one point for everything if you mount one point if you get the back one point if you pass the guard one point if you sweep take down one point we're gonna be giving two points for submissions locked. And if a few of the guys stall and been doing this for 27 years, I know how stall looks like. You're gonna call action, and after that, if you don't move, you're gonna lose a point. It's also three minutes, so you gotta have to move fast. Okay? So make sure you guys don't have that in mind now and prepare yourself for this new uh, rule, a new challenge. All right? here so it's just gonna be like can I work my game without getting smashed too bad. My first match with EJ is a very tough guy, very fast, strong and uh, how I said before I put in my game and uh, try to win the fight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Action! 
action. Stop. Fight. Stop. We're gonna have the first round. Round number two. Fight! Second round and winner of the fight. He's that tough guy. He has a nice paddle guard, so difficult to pass. I try all the time. That's okay. Strange, he's so big, but he has such a technical guard. Really strong, but I think that's gonna be a, a ongoing factor today. <laughs> 